slide. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank you all for joining us this morning in Salinas for the 2016 Hatsumon service, as well as the July Shotsuki Hoyo for 2020. I know it's very different coming together in situations like this where we can't gather and see each other personally, but I hope that as you sit in your homes, you're taking time to uh, join us in the service. Your Obusadan is open, you've lit a candle, and you have uh, incense burning in your uh, little incense burner there at home. Um, as we join together today, I want to thank
thank the Salinas members for their support and their kindness in allowing us to be able to live stream services, which makes it uh, safer and uh, much more, in some ways, convenient for us as well. Uh, I'd like to begin today's service with an opening reading. If you'll please join me in God's show in your home. This reading is from Shinnan Shomin's Shoso Matsubasa. Those who deeply entrust themselves to Amida's vow of great compassion should all say Namo Amida Vasu constantly whether they are waking or sleeping. Namo Amida Vasu. Namo Amida Vasu. Namo Amida Vasu. Namo Amida Okay, at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce to you, uh, well, it really needs no introduction at all, but uh, your temple president, uh, Tom Sitomu Yamashita. Uh, I'd like to ask him to come up and say a few words and address the uh, members. Good morning, everyone. Uh, here we are in uh, our temple. This is our second uh, uh, light cask, but it's the first time using our own equipment. So uh, hopefully, uh, it'll go off without a hitch, and uh, we'll hopefully get better each time. Anyway, uh, I'd like to thank Sensei for coming out to, uh, to do this service for us. Uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, so without much ado, I'd like to get started and uh, uh, get going here. So at the, at the end of the, the service, I'll, I'll have some uh, announcements to make also. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. And now I'd like to begin with the sutra chanting. Before I begin, though, I want to extend my condolences to those who are observing Hatsubon for this year, and also those who are observing July Shotsuki Hoyo. I invite you to, uh, during the sutra chanting, to please uh, burn incense. I'll begin with the Sambu Jo, followed by uh, a dedication reading of the Hyobyakumo and then the Amida Kyo. And during the Amida Kyo uh, chanting, you can take time in your homes to burn incense. And also you'll see on the screen uh, scrolling of names of those observing Hatsumon and July Shotsuki Hoyo.
very much. Now I'd like to uh, ask you to um, join me in the gatha. Uh, today we will be doing uh, Shinshu Shukra. And if you do have a copy of the uh, Large Purple Service Book, you'll find it on page 216.
さらにいずれの章に受かったかこの身をどうせん来週ごろともに死神に参謀に消えし立てまつるべし自ら仏に消えし立てまつるまさに願わくは修行とともに大道を体現しておく両陽光さん自ら法に消えし立てまつるまさに願わくは修行とともに深く胸像に入れて知恵を見のごとくならん自ら僧に消えし立てまつるまさに願わくは修行とともに大衆を通りして一切無限ならん無常人人人形の方は百千万語にも会うことばたし俺にまあ検問し十字することやたり願わくは、願いの真実、日よけし、立てまつらん。何万だろう、何万だろう、何万だろう、何万だろう。Thank you very much. Once again, I want to say good morning to everyone who is、uh, tuning in and、uh, joining our service here in Salinas.、Uh, it is very different、um, speaking to all of you at home. There's only two. Live people here in the audience, but it helps having somebody here rather than just myself.、Uh, and I want to really acknowledge the, the, the effort that s a n t s is making to be able to broadcast these services to you at your homes. I hope you do appreciate the effort that goes into this.、Um, today we're observing Hatsumon, and this would be the day when. You know, Salinas Buddhist Temple would be a buzz with all sorts of activity. It's the weekend of the traditional m o n d o r i But here at the temple, it's very, very quiet. There's no, no dancing, there's no music, there's no crowds, there's no food. So I know that this is not just Salinas, this is all over. All temples across the Buddhist churches of America have had to cancel their o b o n Many of them are posted virtual o b o n s and、uh, I hope you get a chance to look at some of these. They've done a wonderful job, like San Jose and Seattle and、uh, Orange County, for example. If you look for their o b o n online, you can see the dancing and some food demonstrations and different things. So you can still celebrate o b o n But I think for us here today, it's important for us to have the service. Even though there's not the festival. And it really, in a way, helps us and reminds us of the importance and the significance of Omo. You know, this is a typically, most people who are not familiar with our temples see Omo as a festival. For us who are more intimately connected to the temple, Omo is a memorial. It honors those who have died in the last year. But also, it honors all of our family members, all of our ancestors who have passed away. And so, it's an important service and it's an important time of the year. So, I do hope that you are, in a way, observing o b o n in your homes by honoring your family members who have died. I think many of you know the story of o b o n And the word o b o n comes from the sutra, the u l a m a n a Sutra. And it's a point in the Buddha's life when one of his disciples by the name of Mogalana or Mokuden、uh, have a conversation about Mokuden's mother. See, Mokuden was a great disciple who had wonderful powers of deep meditation. And in these moments of deep meditation, He was able to see beyond this world which you and I live in. He was able to see beyond that. He was able to see、um, the seven levels of existence in Buddhism. And once while in deep meditation, he saw his mother in the world of the Gaki. The Gaki is the world of hungry ghosts. It represents. 
insatiable desires. And when Mokoran saw his mother in this Gaki realm, she was hanging upside down and she was suffering. She was thirsty, she was hungry. And so Mokoran, he attempted to give her some water, give her some food. But as the food and water came closer to her, they would burst into flames. This only aggravated her, her intense desire and uh, suffering even more. So Mokudan didn't know what to do. He wanted to help his mother. So he went to see the Buddha. And in his conversation with the Buddha, the Buddha told him, you know, that your mother is hanging upside down in this realm of the Gaki because of her great desire to take care of you. And she put all of her attention on you. And to the point where her desires overcame her. Uh, and her desire for you, Mokudan. So this is the reason she is there. And there is really nothing you can do to help her. But what you can do is you can hold a memorial service in your memory. You can light candles, burn incense. You can then have a feast, feed the monks, practice dhamma. And so with this monk then held a memorial service for his mother, had a feast, fed the monks, gave them clothing. And with these acts, Mokaren saw his mother released from the agony of the realm of the Gaki. And when he saw this, he danced for joy. This is the beginning of a war. And that dance for joy, you know, we call, in Japanese, we call a war, kamiye. It's a gathering of joy. And yes, it's, it's so much fun to have a festival, to be able to dance and to eat and to drink and to see people. But also, this gathering of joy means that we are able to be alive. We're able to enjoy life because of our family members. You know, when we lose someone, no matter how old they are, there's still a very there's an emptiness in our hearts that can never be filled. And still, we want to do something for our loved ones. We want to do something, but we cannot. We feel hopeless. There are many things we wish we could say to our parents, our friends, uncles, aunts, but we cannot. So we feel helpless. And although we tell ourselves, we have no regrets about their passing. There are still things we wish we could have done, things we wish we could have said. And so we feel helpless. Now this is very natural for us as human beings to have these feelings. But now that our loved ones have passed away, we must find other ways to express the love and concern. We must find other ways to express our gratitude to them for all that we have received. That's what Obon is all about, an opportunity to do that. Many years ago, I remember conducting a memorial service for a family. And I lived in a temple housing. And typically, when you live in temple housing, there is no neighborhood. It's not within a neighborhood. So there's no one living around us. And we had this memorial service, and my son was very young, and this family that was connected, this was observing the memorial had uh, children his age. So after the service, we were having dinner, and he and the rest of the children were outside playing, having a great time. And as it got later into the night, the family had to leave, and we went back home. And I remember my son wanting to go outside and play some more, even though the other families had left. He had such a wonderful time that 
He really wanted to go back outside. But he, but we kept him inside, and he started to cry. He started to lay on the floor, roll around, crying and crying and crying. And I thought, oh, so how I so, you know? I felt so bad for him that he was so sad because these opportunities for him didn't come around often. And he really wanted to go back outside and play some more. Well, I thought about that for a long time. And I thought about, you know, what can I do to ease his anxiety? What can I do to ease his, his suffering, stop his crying? You know. And so he went to bed, you know, and I, I fretted over this for, for a long time, you know. And, you know, this is, this is my son, how can, how can I help him? Well, the next day, as you can imagine, he woke up and he was fine. And I remember telling my wife, you know, gosh, you know, I wish there was something that we could do to help him, to ease his pain and his anxiety. And she says, look at him. He's fine. You're the one that's all wigged out. You're the one that is full, all, you know, full of anxiety. You're the one that needs help. So I realized that it was I who was feeling helpless. You know, my son was fine. I needed to do something about my anxiety. You know, this is the message that Shakyamuni gave to Mokuden that day, thousands of years ago. He told Mokuden, nothing you can do in your power can help your mother. All you can do is hold this memorial service and have a feast. In the same way, there was nothing I could do to help my son. You know, he was fine. Your family members, they are fine. It is our anxiety that the Buddha is concerned about. So, Shakyamuni Buddha, he told Mokuda, of course your mother did all she could for you, and you should be grateful for that. But now is the opportunity for you to express all that you were not able to do before all that you were not able to say before. Now is an opportunity to do that, to do all that you wish you could have done. And so that is why after the memorial service, Mokuden was freed from his anxiety. He leapt into the air with joy. And that is why we call it Kamiye, the gathering of joy. Again, it's natural for us to miss our loved ones. It's natural for us to be anxious about them. But we have to understand that it is our anxiety, that the Buddha is directing his compassion and his great wisdom towards, towards you and I. So we have this time, this Obon season. We light candles, we burn incense, we make offerings of flower and fruit. And there are lights that burn brightly on the altar that remind us of the boundless life of your family members. That light is a reminder of what we have received and how their life continues to take effect upon all of us. And it's through the words Namu Amidabha that we can express all of these thoughts, all of these words, all of the things we want to say and wish we could say and wish we could do, all those deeds, they are in Namu Amidabutsu. And these are the things that we wish to bestow upon our family members. But all we have to do is say Namu Amidabutsu. So today, as we observe July Shotsuki Hoyo and Hatsumon here in Swainas, we are reminded that we have what, of what we have received and what we continue to receive from our family members. It is a great time for us to express all that we wish to say, all that we wish to do. Their time, therefore, it is a time of great joy. And just like Mokuren, we celebrate life, we leap for joy from what we have received in gratitude to our loved ones. Thank you very much. Please join me in Gashon.
Namo Amida Bhutsu. Namo Amida Bhutsu. Namo Amida Bhutsu. Namo Amida And now I'd like to ask you to join us in the Gatha. Uh, today we will have the Gatha Omdo San Tu. about the current situation in the Monterey County uh, where obviously it's still shut down and uh, uh, we can't hold any services. And uh, we had hoped that we would be able to do in-person service by say, September, but, uh, you know, but still with a limited number of attendees, like uh, 30 or 
body in this condo. Uh, but the infection rate at the hospi hospital and uh, hospitalization has gone up dramatically. And uh, uh, so the prospect of things getting better anytime soon is a sort of a big question mark right now. Uh, so we are preparing still uh, everything so that we can open, uh, so that we have you know, most of the equipment, protocols that have been up, uh, available, and uh, you know, for safe distancing and sanitizing the, the, the facility. We, we have all of that uh, ready. And we'll keep uh, everyone updated on uh, what happens. Um, I should also mentioned that uh, at least in the Monterey County, the outdoor services are still allowed, and many churches have gone that way, uh, holding outdoor services. Uh, we can consider that, and we might try to uh, think about that as well. So that's kind of in that discussion. I also like to say a sad announcement that few of our members have passed away uh, in the last two months. Uh, Mr. Yasuji Minami passed away on June 9th. He was uh, 78 years old. Mr. Benny Wakayama passed away in uh, July 9th. And he was 84 years old. And just last week, uh, Mrs. Sachi Tanimura passed away on July 20th. And she was uh, 91 years old. We offer our deepest condolences to the family for their loss. Um, so Mrs. Taimura's memorial service is, is being planned by the family right now. Um, it is to be held at uh, Yamato Cemetery on August 22nd. But it's, it's still likely to be uh, only a family uh, affair. Uh, we're looking into being able to broadcast it, maybe by Zoom, uh, but uh, the d details are still need to be worked out with the family uh, ourselves as well. So we'll make the announcements as the things become clearer. Uh, so the situation with the services will continue like this. Uh, it will be a while before we can consider doing the in-person services. So we have to continue relying on uh, 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 doing uh, operating this way, uh, and con tempo will continue to be shut down for all activities. So uh, I'd like to remind everybody: if anything, things are even more dangerous now because there's so many people are uh, getting uh, sick and being uh, infected. So please stay safe and uh, uh, you know be very very careful. Even more so than uh, in the past. So I'd like to do the same thing now in Japanese. Uh, please bear with me. So, Amirasan, uh, Oyo Gozaimas, Kyo no Live Cast Service wa kono Otera kara Nikai me ni nanimas. Shikashi, Kure wa Oyai no Jishin no Kikai wa Tsukata na Hajimetu. Sono tabi ni Jose ni naro to Omote imas kara. Please have patience. Um, から9月になったらまあ、3、40人ぐらいの保養はできると思っていたんですが、まだ先になるようです。しかし、まあ、その間に機械とかあの消毒の方法とかプロトコルとか手順ですね、もう準備してあります。で、室内サービスは今はできませ
そして紅和歌山さん7月9日に亡くなられました84歳でしたそして先週の7月の20日20日ですねベスサチタイムラが亡くなられました91歳だったそうですおかずの,あの方たちに深くお悔やみ申し上げますメス・スタニムラのメモリーの報道は、まあ、一応8月の22日にファミリーの方であの予定あのされておられるんですがこれは山とされているとなっています多分ファミリーだけのサービスになると思いますあですけど、ヤマトセメテリーからでもライブキャストとか、まあ、なんだかあのブログキャストをできるかもしれないと思っています。ですから、健康次第、あの検討次第あの、お寺の方からあのあの決まった次第あの発表します。で、まあ、今のこのコロナウイルスの状態はまだ続きそうですから、当分はこのようにライブキャストサービスを続けることになります。皆さんも十分に用心して、あの安全に過ごしてください。以上です。Namu Amidabuts, Namu Amidabuts, Namu Amidabuts, Namu Amidabuts, Namu Amidabuts, Namu Amidabuts.